Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the nuclear transmutation and artificial radioactivity and now in this topic let me talk about nuclear fusion. This is one of the important topics that I am going to talk about. So now let's get started. So friends, talking about the nuclear fusion, nuclear fusion is the process of splitting up of a heavy nucleus of an atom to lighter particles. And in that case, basically there is a tremendous amount of energy that also releases. So this kind of process is basically known as nuclear fusion. Let me give you a particular example. Suppose if we consider uranium 235, that is the uranium having an atomic mass of 235, Suppose if it is bombarded with a neutron, so in that case we could find that is the products that have been formed are barium and krypton. So these are the lighter particles compared to that of the uranium-235. But not only this, the product which has been formed, they can be radioisotopes also. And there is tremendous amount of energy released whenever the uranium undergoes through nuclear fission. So this kind of energy that has been released, it can exceed to 200 MeV that shows that how powerful the nuclear fission is and that is how basically we can use this energy in destroying or we can use this energy in creating different other form of energy. So this is how basically the nuclear fission is and this is how the reaction proceeds. But not only this, the energy that has been produced after the breaking or after the splitting of the uranium-235 into barium and krypton, it also releases a small particles of that is neutrons. Three neutrons are being released whenever a single uranium-235 is reacted with a neutron. And that is how the three new neutrons that are being produced, they can excite the other uranium-235 and that is how basically that U35, that is uranium-235, can produce more energy by releasing three more neutrons and that is how basically this kind of chain reaction goes on and that is how basically to stop this reaction, it is very much difficult. But also we could get to know about that is the tremendous amount of energy is also released during this process and this is what the nuclear fusion is. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.